Hi guys, welcome to another short video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill. Um, this video is um, about an experiment I'm running with eBay. Now if you're an online seller with eBay, um, I don't know whether you're having similar problems to me. January and February were brilliant. March was dismal is the only way I can explain it. In April so far isn't brilliant. So I'm, I've decided to run an experiment. At the moment I have around 500 items on Buy It Now. Um, my average is 500. As stuff comes off I replace it. Um, but um, as the sales are down this month, what I've decided to do, I have picked 100 um, pieces off the Buy It Now, off the shop, uh, with a price range from 20 to 35 pound and I've put them on auction, no reserve, with a starting bid of £12. Now I'm curious to see, out of the 100 items, how many of them won't sell, how many of them will sell for £12, or how many of them will achieve the price I was originally asking, or if any of them exceed the price I was asking. Uh, it's a good way of, I suppose, finding out which is best to use on eBay, auction or buy it now. now I used to sell at auction all the time um, on eBay, so I wouldn't have many items. I'd have probably 50 items rolling over constantly. Um, but I found I couldn't always keep up the listing and then my income would be down. So I, I, I transferred to the shop and that's been going absolutely wonderful for years. But as I say, the last three or four weeks has been absolutely dismal. So I'm going to run this experiment. I'm going to give you a little glimpse now of the hundred items I've uh, put online, just on auction, just to give you an idea. It's not rubbish. Some really nice little pieces transferred. So it'll be interesting to um, see the outcome of this. Worst case scenario, they don't sell. I'll put relist them back on the shop and just leave them sit and let people make me the offers. Because uh, during um, with the things I have on fixed price on my shop, I allow people to make offers. There's an option on eBay, allow buyers to make an offer, and I do. And I generally take a lower offer anyway. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to give you um, a close-up look now um, for a minute or so at the pieces I've put on to auction. Okay, guys. Um, here's where I tried... Um, these few I've already tried this week and they finish tomorrow uh, but I tried on a much smaller scale which is one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to film these five for the next couple of minutes as they end tomorrow or should I say for the last couple of minutes of their auction life tomorrow to see what happens with these um, but if I scroll down you'll see there's pottery animals, there's an early 19th century Sheffield plate, candle snuffer a stiff teddy bear, um, door knockers, antique keys, antique candlesticks, Chinese dogs are full, Spanish ladro, um, Hamel, crystal, USSR tiger, USSR panda, there is loads and loads. Um, you have a Janet glass, depression glass. Now Depend on whether they've come from 20, 30 pound, they've gone to 12. And if they've come from 40, 50 pound, they've gone to 18. Hence why you see some at 12 and some at 18. There's only so much I'm prepared to lose in this experiment. Um, like we have a Murano glass uh, necklace and Swarovski crystal uh, paperweights, a Chinese incense burner. There's some really nice pieces on here now, and there's a hundred of them going out. Charles Branham Pottery Vase, some coins. As I say, it's um, not £100 items or £200 items, but there's enough of it here to, to show whether or not it's worthwhile doing. Now, eBay is dearer listing on auction than it is on fixed price. Um, however, I'm hoping that the result will be greater sales. 
There's a hundred listings here now, all been transferred. Everything in Waterford Crystal, HB Quimper, Silver Plate of Pern, uh, Pewter Porringer. There's a good selection. And then, of course, we come back down to my Buy It Nows. And I still have 300 Buy It Nows on the shop. So, the 300 Buy It Nows, I'm going to see which generates the most money over the uh, seven days. I've only put them on for a seven day auction. And I will film. Um, these entire hundred coming off so it may be a 20 minute 25 minute video next week however if like me you're struggling with uh, eBay for this month then it is certainly an experiment you may want to follow I'm really excited to do this experiment um, I need to know how my business goes further Obviously, I have my I, my dealer items on my website, um, but eBay has a very large role in my business and probably in yours. Um, certainly, anything up to a hundred or two hundred pound would go on to eBay, um, as it has the volume of traffic. However, it certainly hasn't been performing how it once did. Um, there was a time I could put the things on, and to be honest with you. I couldn't keep up with the demand of the antiques. Um, I have some really interesting pieces on there, um, so I will be very interested to see how it goes. Worst case scenario, if the full hundred went at the one bid, then I'm still going to make three or four thousand pounds next week alone, and that's just a hundred items out of my 500 listings. Either way, I'm on a win. Um, I won't be making uh, much money on that. Um, as after fees and costs and uh, buying the stock I've lowered the prices so low there isn't going to be a lot of margin after you pay the 25-30% commissions and fees and everything else however it's certainly going to give me money to go out next week during Easter and replenish um, my stock buy new, invest in something else uh, I don't mind having a change around. Um, I don't know if you've done any similar experiments or if you've found any other ways of improving your sales. If you have, I'd certainly like to hear from you. Um, I was going to try Gumtree and a few of the other online auction sites, uh, but from what I understand from talking to people who do use them, they are not not as successful as eBay and, and finding eBay being slow at the moment it's you just can't justify chancing another um, site and certainly not one I'm not familiar with there's obviously uh, Facebook selling I don't know how many of you do the Facebook um, is it Shopify or Shopify I'm not sure if um, anybody does the Facebook selling I'd be interested to know how easy that is to set up and how successful uh, you find that in addition, my next experiment, if this one doesn't pay off, I'm going to increase the starting price but remove all postage costs and find out whether or not that, happen, uh, that helps. Because um, eBay promote things that are free postage irrespective of the purchase price. So there's going to be a few experiments run this month um, and we'll see where we go from there. Um, but as I said, Seven days from now, I'll film the last couple of minutes of the 100 items, which will be anywhere up to a half hour video. Um, if you're interested, um, it will be posted the uh, following day. And I'll do a little talk and a little blog on the results and see whether or not we come up with any answers. And if we do or if we don't, I'd like to hear your comments, your views, and any suggestions you have. So, I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. If you uh, did enjoy, please put a like and a share. Um, we're on Facebook, Antiques Arena. As you saw, we're on eBay, Antiques Arena Clearance, and we have our own website, antiquesarena.co.uk. Don't forget, tune in just over a week today for part two of this film. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.